your Midco Sports Network game recap from Frost Arena in Brookings on Saturday afternoon. Women's game, South Dakota State uh, beats up on Fort Wayne 92 64, the Jackrabbits uh, with a season high, 92 points in this game. Well, they had it going on both ends of the floor. Really played well offensively, shared the basketball, got out in transition, shot it well from the perimeter, and then did what they've always done on the defensive end, which is lock the opponent down and you know, put those two things together, and it was a great afternoon for SDSU. Some of the highlights from the first half of this one, South Dakota State, South Dakota State, and the Dons in a struggle early. Allison Bunch with a uh, season high 22 points for Fort Wayne in this game. She made six threes, and South Coast State just had a three-point uh, lead at the end of the first quarter. Courtney Ogle dropped in a couple of threes, and it was close for the first 10 minutes. Yeah, I thought Fort Wayne came out with some good intensity. They were scrapping after loose balls, and they hit some shots to keep them in it. Jack Rivers will start to take control in the second quarter. Kerry Young. Ends up with 13 points for the Jacks on five of nine shooting. And then Sydney Palmer, true freshman from Pierre, South Dakota, off the bench, came in, knocked down a three. Seven points in the game for Palmer. And they would eventually get everybody involved in the game. Well, there's no question. It was the entire group effort here for South Dakota State. Everyone who played in this game scored, and eight of them hit three pointers. Jackrabbits up 47 to 29 at halftime. They continue to extend that lead despite what Allison Bunch was doing. Bunch again, 22 points for her to lead the uh, Mastodons. Macy Miller doing her thing as usual for the Jackrabbits. 18 points, six assists for Miller. Ellie Thompson inside, 12 points and five rebounds. Well, everyone was contributing, and people were scoring at very high levels. Tommy Thompson had a great game, five for five in the field. Three assists, five rebounds for her. South Coast State shoots at 53%. And they had held the last four opponents under 50 points, but Fort Wayne gets 64, but South Coast State uh, wins at 92-64. Numbers brought to you by CU Mortgage Direct. LLC, 34 points in the paint. 18 for Macy Miller. 10 for Chloe Corneman coming off the bench on senior day as uh, the Jackrabbits are now 21 and four on this season. And they are 11 and one right now in the Summit League. South Dakota also a winner on Saturday. So uh, the Jackrabbits and the Coyotes meet on the 20th. Yes. Saturday the 20th in Vermilion to decide we would imagine who's gonna be in first place in the Summit League. Well, certainly looking that way. Those teams are on a collision course. Of course, South Dakota beat South Dakota State here in Brookings earlier this season. South Dakota lost at Oral Roberts. That's where their loss comes from. But yeah, whoever comes out on top uh, on the 20th is really going to be the one in the driver's seat. But both teams do still need to go to IUPUI, and that's not going to be an easy game for either one of them. So South Dakota uh, State beats Fort Wayne here 92 to 64 is the final Jacks get to 11 and 1 in Summit League play. And that is your Midco Sports Network game recap.